Let's go to Uruguay for 48 hours. <laughs> The information I know, I'm going to Colonia de Sacramento. It's about an hour ferry away from Buenos Aires, which makes it super convenient. They accept US dollars, sometimes Argentinian pesos, and also Uruguayan pesos. My goal for the 48 hours is purely just to walk and also read a book. I feel like I put so much pressure on seeing everything when I go somewhere. And this trip, I found an Airbnb host. She seems so sweet. She's created like such a precious space by herself and she just told me she wants to share it with people which I think is so sweet. She does not speak English so we're gonna see how that works out. But yeah, it should be a good time, hopefully some good food and maybe my first sunset in like a month which is wild to say. Let's go to your one. As predicted, this place is stunning. Let's do a little montage of this room. <laughs> Some of these spots i definitely want to be down by the water at sunset time i think that'd be really nice i also desperately need to find food today i'm really liking what i am seeing so far it looks beautiful here let's go adventure <laughs> seems like the most perfect time for an update. I went to maybe the best cafe experience I've had throughout my whole month in Argentina and now in Uruguay. Highly, highly, highly recommend. I think I'm gonna read a little bit in the backyard. I also brought a lemon cake home with me. I know what I'm doing. I wanna lay low because tonight I wanna go back out to the water and see if there's a sunset here. I will say I have encountered so many mosquitoes. That was unexpected, so you are warned. sunset time. I got recommended watching the sunset at Bastion de San Miguel. I would highly recommend. I'm gonna show you before the mosquitoes get me. Beautiful golden hour, good spot to check out. night of sleep last night. I think I still have some leftover congestion for when I was sick in Argentina. I think I'm gonna head back to that coffee shop I went to yesterday. It's, it was just so magical and I feel like it's so hard to communicate and get the food that you want if you're not speaking Spanish. So 
I feel like it's worth it to go back there. I don't know how to describe it. Last night when I was watching the sunset, I feel like I normally only process trips after I return from them. It usually doesn't hit me in the moment and last night I feel like it hit me in, in the moment. Like I was really emotional watching the sunset mainly just because my host was also watching the sunset with me and I think it just kind of hit me that when you travel and you meet people who live in that place, I mean, you're so far away from home and then once you go back home, those people are still there. And I feel that way about my host for some reason. I think it would be nice to do a little sketch for her of the photos I took of her home. I have not brought out a sketchbook in some time, so my abilities are not going to be good. I'm gonna go to this cafe and I'm gonna try and sketch this photo I took of her cat in the backyard and I'm going to share it with her before I take the ferry back today. Let's go enjoy the beautiful weather for one more day. Some places are just so special and that cafe is one of them for me. I was sitting there drawing and when they go up to pay he says my wife so I guess him and his wife own that cafe saw you drawing and we took the most beautiful photo of you so I love that they have a photo of me in their backyard forever but I finished my sketch it is not the best but I hope it's the thought that counts it's a little drawing of the backyard of my host she has a really adorable cat who just sits on this little chair in her backyard and I think it is the most beautiful thing. I'm taking a memory back with me forever and hopefully this can sit on her fridge or something for a long long time. Humans are just so special. <laughs> took maybe the best shower of my life. <laughs> I have two hours before I go back on the ferry back to Buenos Aires, so I'm just gonna relax. <laughs> 